Howdy guys, how are you going? Lecky here from Pro Physio Plus, Longevity Physio. Today's part two of a three part series where I'm presenting on common chronic conditions that can present as chronic disease. Now, just make sure you review the previous video where I talk about chronic inflammation. In part two, I'm gonna be talking about chronic stress. Now, again, this is something that you may be suffering, someone close to you may be suffering, but it's that silent thing that really is hard to put your finger on. So let's give it a good go. Here at Pro Physio Plus, remember, we believe in making healthy simple, so we're keeping it pretty macro, we're not looking to dive into the weeds. If we look at your body, one of the key things we're looking at is your brain and your nervous system, okay? So in my drawing here, I've got your brain as the computer and your nerves as the wiring, the wires. And if we're thinking of the primary job of the computer and the wiring, what's its number one job? Its number one job is avoiding death. It will protect you from yourself, dependent on the environment that you're in. Okay, what does that mean? So, a part of your nervous system has this automatic nervous response. It's called your autonomic nervous system, okay? Now, this nervous system, it mediates things like if you're frying you know, an egg and the frying pan's hot, your hand is gonna recoil before you even think about the heat and the danger, okay? That's what I mean about avoiding death. Now, if we're looking at two responses, two sides of the same coin, one is gonna get you up and about, ready to run away from the saber-toothed tiger back in our prehistoric days, and that's a fight or flight response, okay? The medical term is a sympathetic nervous system response. So if we are gearing up to run away from the saber-toothed tiger, your heartbeat is gonna beat a bit faster, okay? You're gonna to start to feel your breathing is gonna get faster, deliver all the oxygen around the body. You're gonna feel the sweat in your brow. Now that's really important and we'll circle back to that in a moment. The other thing that's often not talked about is the equal and opposite end of the same coin. It's the rest and digest response, the parasympathetic nervous system response. Now rest and digest is the opposite of getting yourself up to run away. It's allowing you to sit and enjoy a meal with your family and friends, the digestion. It's allowing you to sleep peacefully, get that restorative sleep, okay? So fight or flight, the opposite, rest and digest. Now, where's the problem, okay? Now, if you have this nervous system, your wiring is protecting you from your environment because you're avoiding death, the mismatch is when there's too much of the fight and flight response and there's not enough of the rest and digest. So you can see there's a big chunky arrow for the fight or flight and there's just a little puny rest and digest. So in today's context, because we don't live in caves anymore, we're not running away from saber-toothed tigers, but we are stimulated and preparing the body for different responses. Like when you get the red notification on your social media channels, you, you almost have that flutter in your heart. You know, if you read an email that you didn't like, if there's a hard conversation you're having at home, work's really busy and stressing you out, bingo. That's a fight or flight response. That's the caveman context that we're living in now. And so the challenges and a lot of the awakening of everyone moving towards the rest and digest is really important, okay? So basically the emphasis we're looking at is strengthening your effort on rest and digest. Okay, so what's the solution? Just okay, so the solution here, it's gonna look very common. Three of the four things you can do right now to manage your chronic stress. Look at your lifestyle, have a look at your behaviors, and a big one is your diet plan. So make sure you find a really good professional to help you with some great advice on your diet. But in terms of your lifestyle, look at the food that you're eating, the choices you make on your plate, exercise, self-care, think about the alcohol and cigarettes. It gives you that inflammatory response that we talked about before. In terms of your behaviors, good quality, restorative sleep, looking at your self-belief, self-talk, your rest, are you actually resting? And the social engagements that you invest your time in, okay? Now again, this is really big picture stuff. If you are struggling with chronic stress, there is some great services that you can engage. So through Medicare, you can actually qualify for a program to see a counselor, psychologist to help you with that, the mental side of things. If you need a, a physical help, there's physiotherapy help and we're happy to help you there. And if you need to escalate and you need medical help, by all means, visit your local doctor go get the specialist care if that's what you need. If that's what you need. So that's my effort in explaining chronic stress to you today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, reach out. We'd be happy to help. See you in the next video.